Can you tell us, has anybody been hurt in this incident? No, no one's been hurt in this incident uh, as of yet. The firefighters obviously will maintain a professional stance and hopefully none of them will be hurt whilst they deal with this incident. I gather people have been evacuated from neighbouring buildings. Yes, that's just a precaution. Obviously what we need to do is we need to create a safe working area for ourselves and for our, our colleagues from other services. One of the ways of doing that is to make sure that there are no um, what we would term in this situation civilians who could get in the way of operations and get injured themselves as a result. Can you tell us how the fire started? Not just yet. We have a professional fire investigation team here who are working closely with the police uh, and they will be determining the cause of the fire over this evening and maybe even into tomorrow. But we ha we've heard that it started in the kitchen and spread into the roof, is that correct? Well, I can confirm it started either in the kitchen or on the roof. I suspect probably in the kitchen. But again, that will be confirmed by the fire investigation that is in progress as we speak. Has the age of the building had a bearing on how you tackle this fire? Well, obviously this is a very old building, a very complicated building, and they always pose as particular problems in that there are hidden voids, uh, wooden floors, and that does or can lead to very rapid fire spread with, and um, obviously the building can then become very dangerous for firefighters and the public. What's the state of play at the moment? Well, we're, uh, we're at the point where we have firefighters inside the building and on the roof tackling this fire. Uh, I'm pleased to say that I'm, I'm confident that the fire is under control at this time and I'm waiting for my officers to confirm that the fire is actually out. Right, OK. Um, and uh, how long do you think it'll be before the scene could be cleared? Well, I'm hopeful that if the fire is out and we have the, the, uh, the situation under control, we will be able to open the road um, within the hour. Within an hour from now, so that's, uh, say, six o'clock? Um, you can't hold me to that, but okay. I would uh, hope to have it open around right. six. Okay. And uh, how would you describe this operation from a, a fire, firefighter's point of view? Well, obviously, when the first crews arrived, because of the pre-training we've done on this particular building and the knowledge we have of this building, we were able to put in place our plans very, very quickly and efficiently. Um, backup was called straight away because of the severity of the incident. But the firefighters, as usual, have responded in a very professional manner and dealt with this incident um, to very much my satisfaction. Clearly the building, you know, a distillery, there's an awful lot of alcohol here, is that posed a, a particular extra risk? Obviously it's something we would bear in mind as we arrived, but I'm pleased to say there is no alcohol or the stored alcohol involved in this incident at all. Yeah, that's great. So from your point of view, a pretty successful outcome so far. I'm very pleased and, and proud of the professionalism of the firefighters that have been at this incident tonight.